You are listening to the Mark Guzman Podcast Experience. So our second topic is Bay Area life declining. There's been a few studies and some reports that have come out talking about the Bay Area quality of life and how many people in the Bay Area uh, more and more are stating that their quality of life is dropping. Uh, in fact, 65% of Bay Area residents say quality of life has declined in the Bay Area. 44% say they expect to move. 58% of uh, renters uh, expect to move. 55% of people between 18 and 39 expect to move. So they list some of the top reasons as being housing cost, cost of living, homelessness, and traffic. So Brian, what's your take on this? Well, again, this is kind of the benefit of being in the business for the last 29 years. This is literally all old news. I've literally heard this exact same thing back in 2000, uh, 1996. Uh, back in 2003, 2007, 2008. Point being is, is that they're constantly saying the quality of life is decreasing because the cost of living is going up. However, when you let me just take an extreme analogy. So for those of you who remember the old movie years and years ago, Escape from New York, it was a movie that painted New York City, Manhattan in this dark future where it turned into a prison state because the, the cost of living and the uh, the 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 lifestyle in Manhattan had dropped so badly and crime took over. Well, clearly that didn't happen. And in fact, real estate prices not only continued to go up, but the quality of life went up right alongside with the quality of life going down. They have extremely expensive restaurants, extremely expensive clothing shopping, and very wealthy people who pay ridiculous amounts of rent in Manhattan. And that's exactly what's also been happening in California right alongside all this increase of homelessness, which definitely is an issue, you also see higher end restaurants. I mean, I remember a time when you couldn't, where $20 was enough to go out and you know paint the town red. Now you can get $20 hamburgers. So they don't create super duper gourmet hamburgers because people can't afford them. It's to appeal to that people who are looking for that foodie lifestyle. So when you talk about the Bay Area, there's a big reason why the real estate values are so high. Uh, people are moving out, but the more people moving out, there's more people with money actually moving in. So when people talk about quality of living, I mean, let's break this down to the very, very core of it. People value the time that they spend on doing what they want to do and on activities, right? So people value time. Uh, that It's no surprise that traffic is up on that list as number two because mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, people are having to commute and there's a lot of people living in the Bay Area and traffic gets worse every single day. So it's not a surprise that you, if you waste time in traffic, which is not something that anyone really enjoys to do, well, yeah, you're, you're going to suffer quality of life there. But then when you look at disposable income, disposable income, the more disposable income you have, the more it gives you the ability to do things that you want to do. It also gives you the ability to afford a nicer place to live. Uh, maybe go out, see an extra movie this week, go to a nicer, fancier restaurant, uh, or maybe instead of going to one fancy restaurant, you're able to visit three cheaper restaurants. But you have disposable income at your fingertips to do what you want to do. Now, when you're paying very high rents, like here in the Bay Area, and most of your disposable income goes toward housing, well, it's not a surprise that everything else around it uh, tends to suffer. And now people are stuck in paying uh, high costs for housing. They're commuting hours every single day for work. And now there's not much time and not much disposable income for anything else. It's not a surprise that many people uh, talk about leaving. Now, with that said, if you look at domestic migration, you do see a lot of people moving out of the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. But you like have you said, more and more people you moving have more, in. 
more and more people, foreigners that are moving into the Bay Area. Because remember, the Bay Area is made up of Silicon Valley and San Francisco, two giant world hubs that are so close together. In fact, uh, in fact, I got into this conversation with Keith Robinson on the podcast. So go check out that podcast from several months ago. But we got into why so many people from around the world want to live here in the Bay Area. And when you have that kind of demand here, you're going to have people moving here. And when you have more and more people moving here, it just naturally begins to get crowded. Yeah. And just to close with that thought, when you compare the Bay Area or places like New York to other places in the country, uh, the weather plays a humongous factor. So a lot of the people have who have moved out actually are itching to move back in because we have year round, pretty much summer. I mean, we don't complain about ridiculous drops in the temperature and all of this plays into the quality of life.